this is Mr. Ivan, okay. Uh, I always emphasize that when you are in SEC 2 or year 2, a very important concept of uh, a very major topic in this year is understanding quadratic equation, okay. So, and quadratic equation and quadratic graph have many uses, okay. And one particular use, right, is when you throw a ball. So, when you throw a ball, it will follow a okay parabolic curve okay so this is uh, modeled after a quadratic graph now let's say you have a particular question okay whereby you have to throw a ball and then how we are going to find the equation of the graph all right with the following variables now let's say you we throw a ball from a height of um, 10 cm okay and then this ball right will land on the ground here after maybe let's say 0 0.5 seconds okay and then it will and in and you measure you are given that it reaches the higher point when it is um, 0 0.15 seconds and at the highest point it is 15 okay so maybe let put let me put this in kind of information that you have so maybe you realize that oh it when the time is um, 0 0.15 second right the height the maximum height is 15 cm okay so maybe you throw a ball uh, from a height of 10 cm and then it follows this path and these are the information that you have okay and with this all this information right how you can put them into a graph so when I put them into a graph the graph is in x-axis and y-axis okay now question what should your y-axis y variable be okay so your y could possibly be like okay your y could possibly be the height of the ball okay and x time taken okay for the ball to reach the ground so let's say we translate this into a graph it would look like this so let's say this is in cm and then let's say this is in seconds we start at 10 okay let me use red all right we throw the ball upwards and it reaches the ground here okay and then let's put in all the variables that we have we have over here 0 0.5 we have also over here the highest point um, 0 0.15 comma 15 because it reaches the highest point as 15 now with all this information right how can we find the equation of the quadratic graph okay so you also should know that all quadratic graph are in the form of y equals to ax square plus bx plus c okay so with these three pieces of information what is the first variable can we find of course is are using the y intercept so when x equals to 0 y equals to 10 okay this means that 10 is equals to c all right so now you have y equals to ax square plus bx plus 10 okay now we have two variables also in sec 2 you are dealing with equations with two variables when you have two variables how many equations you need to solve you need two equations okay so what are the two equations first is when x is equals to 0 0.5 that is your ending point which is here okay what is your y equals to it reaches the ground okay so it will be zero so now you sub it in zero equals to a bracket 0 0.5 bracket square plus b bracket 0 0.5 and you can so-called form your first quadratic equation next is the highest point when x is equals to 0 0.15 your y is equals to 15 all right so you also put in 15 is equals to a bracket 0 0.15 square plus b bracket 0 0.15 sorry there's a plus 10 here the, okay plus 10 and you can form the second equation and use your simultaneous equation to solve for a and b okay so this graph is more abstract in the way whereby you start from a point okay 10 all right and then you have a point that is low uh, lower than your starting point but nevertheless you can also use the information that you have to find the quadratic equation